All right, so we're back at it. It's Monday morning. You guys see, I showed you the computer. We're going over the modules. I got some of those done this morning. There is eight tests that I have to go through to get certified for the BASF. So I came in early, took care of some of them, but we gotta get rolling in the booth. But we have a Tesla here we're gonna be shooting today. So this will be the first Tesla. This is PPSB Blue. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot this one because this is the last day that I'm gonna be in training with Patrick. So he's laying low, he's watching me, he's checking me out. And then at the end of the day, hopefully I will do everything he likes and uh, we can get certified. So it is gonna take a couple of weeks for everything to come through because they just don't go ahead and certify you right away. They wanna make sure you really know these products. So they're gonna let you get in the field, do your thing, do the tests, and then come back and we'll go ahead and get certified. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this one up and we're gonna start shooting it. All right, so now we're gonna talk a little bit about the differences between the PPG and the Glazer. So our prep work is pretty much the same. We finish our blends off with 800 to 1,000, uh, 400 on our new panels and 400 on our primer. So that's gonna be the same. Now getting into the cleaners, they have the same array of cleaners that PPG had, just different numbers, and they have a little bit different products as far as the cleaners. One thing, is the sealer. The sealer is completely different. It is direct to plastics, which means you don't have to use the adhesion promoter in it. So that's a really nice feature. It saves you a step with the sealer as well because you don't have to worry about putting that down and letting it dry before you get into your sealer coat because sometimes you will have a reaction with that stuff when you go to put that sealer on too soon. So we've got our sealer on. Once we get our base on, we'll talk a little bit more about that and the differences between the base coat from what we were spraying previously. So let's go ahead and apply our base.
All right, so now with the base coat, you guys can see the big difference is you go in there one time. It's called one visit. So you put your coat on and then you pull back and you put another medium coat to lay out the metallics and that's all you got. So we spray the wet bed. That's the same as the uh, original PPG we were using here. But then you go right into your color coat and then you finish the job out. So it's a lot quicker. Once you're done, you're done. You just have to get your rhythm down. That's the biggest thing I was telling you guys so far with it. So now we'll go ahead, let this flash. And then all we have to do is clear the job and I'll let you guys know about the differences that I think with the clear coat. All right, so this is it out of the booth. And you guys can see that it has a beautiful gloss even after the bake cycle. So the application is the same. Two coats of clear. I'm spraying the gun the same. We are using a WS Series 2 clear gun. And I'm spraying that gun wide open fan, wide open fluid at 29 PSI. So the clear coat to me has been the same. This is definitely a beautiful clear. It does lay out a little bit easier than that 50-50. And it has a beautiful gloss level. So. I showed you guys the spray out card. That was a special from the field for the uh, Tesla with the PPSB blue and that color looks good. So, so far we've had nothing but good matches with the camera. We were doing all the tests in between the day. When the car was baking, we were over there doing our tests and getting everything caught up. So let's go see what Patrick has to say, how I did on everything. Oh yeah, and real quick, we did use some of the satin clear. So we had a helmet over there that we had a match up and it has like a sparkle with the mat. So this is the uh, Glazerit satin clear coat and this is their uh, flat version of it. So we've tried that out. This is for the local football team here next door. And we've been doing them helmets since I got here at the shop and we're still doing them. So let's go see what Patrick has to say. All right, Pat, how'd I do? Very good. So we got all the tests done, we did pass them, and then how will that work? You gotta go home, do some other stuff to get the certificate? I'll evaluate you on my own laptop and you should be certified. Not bad, so I just wanted to thank you for uh, having some fun with me this week, training me. You guys were uh, definitely good to me, Lazarus, and uh, I'm glad I had you as my rep because you did a jam up job. So. You were a very good student. 
I appreciate it. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you again. Yes. I can call you anytime when we got trouble. Anytime you want. You got my number. All right. All right, so that's Pat. And uh, we, we will be seeing him again on the channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for Pat for doing a great job. He was probably one of the best trainers I've had through the years. And uh, you guys thought he was tough, but that's what I need. I need a guy that knows his stuff, that's gonna make me do what I need to do. And he was the guy for me. So I really appreciate him. I wanna thank him again and thank Lazarus for uh, having this switch so successful. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a lot more videos to come spraying the Glazerit, and we'll see you guys on the next one.